Stephen Strutt, who was also known as Stu, was hard done by, by the press, when he was jailed and told that he would have to serve a minimum term of 20 years under the guise of joint enterprise. Technically, he was jailed for life. His conviction was murder, only he did not attack the victim. Sadly, he was murdered recently by another inmate in HMP Dovecolt. Stephen Strutt was classed as loyal to friends and family and a larger than life character. But most importantly, he was a dad. Now, no motive for the prison stabbing has been established. 42-year-old Stephen Strutt had accompanied friends, Melissa Stubbs, Aaron Stubbs and Paul Walker, who was his brother-in-law, taking a trip in a Kia from Greater Manchester to French Street in St. Helens in order to confront Melissa Stubbs' ex-boyfriend, NHS worker Warren Glover, on June 13th, 2020. The mission was vengeance, plain and simple, to cause serious harm to the dad. Now the general reason behind going to pay Warren a visit was Warren and Melissa had endured a short and intense relationship. When the relationship broke down in November 2019, the two kept messaging each other, toying with the idea of getting back together. However, Warren soon moved on. In January 2020, the idea of rekindling the relationship was no more and lovingly intense conversations morphed into vile text messages being sent back and forth. Warren angrily had texted Melissa, her parents and her friends dissing her brother. Aaron Stubb did not take kindly to this. So the four-person group confronted Warren. Warren was armed with a lump hammer. He tried to run away. As his back was turned, Aaron struck Warren with an iron bar to the back of the head. Warren collapsed to the ground, unconscious. Tragically, he was pronounced dead three weeks later. Now Stephen had been sentenced to 20 years minimum and he was doing his jail time in HMP Dovecote in Staffordshire, which is a Category B prison that houses 1,060 prisoners. Three years into his prison sentence, Stephen Strutt is said to have been set up and targeted before being stabbed multiple times on July 13th, 2024 while inside the prison. Emergency services had rushed Stephen to the nearest hospital, but sadly, he was pronounced dead a short time later. And so far, a 46-year-old prisoner who has not been named has been arrested for that murder. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.